Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with our Bitcoin TA, a little reminder, make sure to participate on our weekly $10 worth of Bitcoin. The subscription video is online since yesterday. It's popping up at the end of this video. And also if you are interested in trading Bitcoin and other assets, make sure that you use the links that you find down below here in the video description. With my sign up links, for example, on Bybit, you can get $90 sign up bonus. And if you use the link on Femex, for example, you can get $80 in bonus. So totally $538 if you use all of these exchanges. And also make sure to join our free Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome all right guys so now we can start with the bitcoin ta because bitcoin is having a nice pump here to the upside we had here currently a top of ten thousand eight hundred forty dollars let's see if we can push towards 11k or if we're gonna see here a possible pullback towards our previous resistance support which now is ten thousand five hundred dollar let's see if we have a retest or if we continue to go towards our 11k target so here in the one hour you can see that currently the price is consolidating here in this 10,700 to 10,600 dollar the one hour is looking a bit top in my opinion since we were very overbought here in the rsi currently we have a cooldown so watch out here for the 20 moving average at 10,670 because in theory we should see a big bounce from the 20 moving average in the one hour during this uptrend if we're gonna have a close here below this moving average and watch out for a possible correction even down towards 10,500 and if this price level doesn't hold then we could go again towards 10k or maybe even towards our bearish target of $9,100. If we switch over into the Bollinger Band here you can see that again we are squeezing here in this tiny channel and we could see a possible fall here in my opinion towards 10,630 so towards the 20 moving average and there we're gonna have to see if we are able to bounce to the upside again or if here we're gonna overshooting it to the downside because the Bollinger Band is squeezing here into a very tiny channel stochastic is cooling off here which is a good sign we should see a possible bounce to the upside but the problem here is the macd and the kst are having a bearish cross this could indicate that we will see a possible pullback to the downside i'm not shorting right now because at those stages i think it's still a bit too early to go short if we're gonna have a 11k retest and get rejected there then maybe i'm going to open up a short position but if you plan to short then maybe start Starting from here 10,700 up to 11k is not a bad idea if you want to take that trade because if we go over into the DXY you can see that currently even though we are dropping in the DXY you can see that we are getting into very oversold condition I also got the buy signal here in the one hour so this could indicate that we will maybe see here another push towards $93 in the DXY and this could indicate that we will have another little correction in the Bitcoin price and if we open up now the four hour in the Bitcoin price, you can see that currently we are trading again above the 20 moving average, which is very bullish. So if we're gonna have a possible correction to the downside, watch out also here for this possible $10,500 retest because it's exactly at 10,500. RSI is now overbought, so we could see here a possible push here towards the 20 moving average. And if we're having a big bounce from it, then watch out here for the 11k target, possibly even up to $11,200 because this is where the 200 moving average is lining up and this is also where I think we're gonna face the most resistance if we continue to push higher here. My own indicator currently is not giving a sell signal so that means we could still have some room left to the upside but also here it looks like that we are getting into some troubles here at 10,800 and maybe we could see a possible pullback. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that also here after overshooting to the upside currently we have a consolidation back down here to the two moving averages. So also here watch out for the $10,600 to $10,500 level. This is where I think we could have a possible pullback and a bounce. Stochastic is still very overbought here and KSC and MACD are still shifted to the upside but also here if we're gonna have a major correction and most likely here we're gonna have also bearish cross because in my opinion they are also looking a bit toppy but of course we still have some room left to the upside. 
And if we go over to the DXY in the four hour, we have exactly the opposite. We are getting here into oversold condition and here we are trading below all the moving averages. I don't have a buy signal right now here in the DXY. We still have some room left to the downside. So I think we could even reach down here this $92 level before maybe we could see a big bounce to the upside. But if right now we're gonna have a push towards the moving averages and maybe even close above, then this could lead into a correction in the Bitcoin price and here a little surge in the DXY. And now let's open up the daily time frame here in the Bitcoin price because here this time frame is very important right now. We are fighting with the 50 area in the RSI. Also yesterday we had a close below the 20 daily moving average and currently we're just seeing a little weak to the upside. So it's going to be very, very important today to close above the 20 daily, which is at $10,700. And even if we would push through here, then this 50 daily moving average here at $11,200 here at our next positive target this could be also the final stage here of this run that we are seeing right now before maybe we're coming down to test the 200 daily moving average which currently is at around 9100 to 9200 dollar which in my opinion is still very likely to come as long as we're trading below the 20 and 50 daily moving average and now a little interesting thing if we do a Fibonacci retracement from the last top that we had here at $12,100 and we take it down to our current bottom, you can see that the 0.618 Fib line is exactly at $11,200. So that is exactly my target for this possible move to the upside. If we are able to take out this 10,800 high that we had currently, because we had a little weak to the upside towards $10,800. If we are able to take it out, then 11,000 in my opinion will most likely be the top here before a major correction towards these targets down here where also is the CME gap at 9600 to fill also that gap and why I think maybe 10,800 could be already the top it's not clear yet but it is also possible that $10,800 was the top and right now we're starting the correction and you maybe ask why it is because the 20 daily moving average is exactly here $10,800 and if we do a Fibonacci retracement from the dip that we had so only here based on this big dump that we had within one day to the bottom here if we do there a Fibonacci retracement from this top and this bottom we get here the 0.618 Fib line exactly at $10,840 exactly where we topped out right now and that's why i think it's not guaranteed that we will go up to eleven thousand two hundred dollar but it is possible and if you want to take this trade if you want to short then this would be the perfect entry here between ten thousand seven hundred up to eleven thousand two hundred dollar if we're going really that high and now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the daily because currently you can see that we didn't manage to break through here this middle line of $10,800 and that makes me a bit concerning that we will probably see another correction to the downside and this could have been here the top at least for now. Let's see what will come here in the next couple of hours. It looks like that already now we are retracing a bit and if we're gonna have a major dump then watch out for the $10,500 because it should hold as a support. If not, then we are heading again towards the bottom. And currently the bottom of the Bollinger Band is at 9,540. And that is, in my opinion, a very reasonable target also to close the CME gap that we have below of us. The only thing is that in the daily actually it's starting to look quite bullish. We have stochastic shifted to the upside. MACD and KSD could have a bullish cross here coming up pretty soon, unless of course we are dumping today or tomorrow again below 10k then i think this could be denied here and if we go over to the dxy here you can see that currently we are also getting rejected from the 50 level in the rsi and we're trading below the 20 daily moving average so in the daily time frame i think the dxy and bitcoin aren't looking too bullish but of course for the bigger picture if we zoom out bitcoin is looking way way more bullish than the dxy also here we are trading below all the moving averages bitcoin is trading above the 200 daily moving average and that is the most important thing 
All right, guys, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. So you see that currently there is still a high chance that we could see a possible correction even down to 9,500 or maybe even $9,200. If you plan to open up big long positions like me at those price levels, then make sure to register to one of these exchanges where you can trade easily Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage. So although with small amounts, you can do huge gains. And if you're interested in watching my own indicator 24 7 then please contact me over on discord so i can give you access over there and otherwise you're just very welcome to join our free discord trading chat so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye